guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a bit different video because I have gotten request to do this. This is a Project Pan tips and tricks video. Okay. I have written down 10 things that keeps me motivated when I pan because I have done this for like three years. I'm just going to talk about what keeps me motivated and stuff like that. So the first thing, this year I have done one thing that is very common for all of my project pans actually there is a time limit for my projects most of them is three months long some of them are four five and some of them are a year i really like setting a goal for myself that you need to finish these five items or these 10 items before this certain date it's just more motivating to have a goal inside than just oh i need to work on these 10 items the second tip is to follow project pan people that gives you motivation as well because then you see their progress they are comparing it with pictures from last month to this update for example when they hit pan they are so excited for that pan that makes me excited as well for example some of the times i know it has been a struggle for them to hit pan and when they do it it's so it's like congratulations you know and it's just very motivating to see others making progress on their stuff so it's like i i can do that as well oh you reapplied that much okay then i need to reapply that much to get that much progress you know i just talked about it a little bit because my third tip is to track your progress for example this powder i just repressed last night i take pictures of it um, in my updates so I can see the visual progress. It's a, like a new trend here in the panning community. They weigh their products. For example, to track the progress for lip liners, for example, I have this notebook here so I can see I made that much progress, for example. Or my subscription box splits. There is sometimes there is a little bit of progress but then then it motivates me to use it more so i can make more progress you know it will motivate me to track my progress and to see oh it's steady progress i'm doing every month oh i have used this item two times and then i realize oh if i'm going to use this up i need to use it more or if i need to have more progress i need to use more number four is work on items you know you can use up in the time frame and then i have said less versus full products for example i know for myself that i can go through a foundation like this in like three to four months depends on how often i use it this can be full in the start of the project and i know my project is going to be three to four months long or for example this powder i just showed you i have just repressed and that there's not that much left then i can put it in a product because it's like a gimme product or my um, blush here from elf that i am panning in my finish 17 and 17 there's not that much left so kind of put a variety of products in your project that you know you can use and when you finish a certain item in like a month for example that keeps you motivated because oh i just finished an item that's cool number five is getting a routine you are planning a blush a powder and a foundation then put it in your makeup routine and do that every single day if you have an eyeshadow for example a covery eyeshadow i'm panning i use it on my lower lash line every single day but i change up my eyeshadow look on my lids for example so get a routine put the items in a routine so you can use them every single day and not get bored then you will see progress much faster if you use them every single time you use your makeup. Number six is multitasking. For example, um, a blush or a bronzer, a highlighter, stuff like that. You can multitask your products. For example, my Benefit What's Up highlighter. I can use it as an eye base, but I can also use it as the base for my highlighter. So on my cheeks, bone, nose, cupid bow, inner corner stuff like that so you can multitask your products sometimes you can use your eyeshadow on your lips as well or you can use a brown eyeshadow in your brows or for example i have multitask my contour powder for my cheekbones but also in my eyebrows so i hit pan for your blush uh, if it has a very neutral tone you can use it as an eyeshadow or something like that and um, your bronzer you can use it on your body as well or your highlighter on your body as well i've done that in the summertime a lot number seven is cheat 
days. Sometimes I'm really really sick of using the same blush every single day the whole year because I need to use it up. So I play around with some other blushes, for example. Um, use a different bronzer, use a different eyeshadow. You don't want to wear the same eyeshadow look every single day. So I change it up and I rotate through my palettes right now. So that keeps me motivated as well, even though I'm panning some single shadows. So I'm just going to switch it up a little bit. Often I do my cheat days on weekends. So I can play around if I'm going to do something and in the school days I'm just wearing the same look because they don't, they don't care anyway. <laughs> Number 8. <laughs> you need to have a variety of products. Working on something you love as well. At the same time you're working on something that's just meh in your collection. A mixture of products could be I really really like this foundation. But I'm not really a big fan of my contour powder. But at the same time, you don't hate it. I'm, I can really recommend don't pan anything you hate. And that leads on to my ninth tip. Declutter the things you don't like. You're not supposed to work on or pan some items that you hate. That doesn't make sense to me. If I just despised this contour powder, I wouldn't use it. Um, I have taken a break from it this month just because I didn't want to use it. So I'm taking a break. It's just makeup in the long run. There was an eyeliner, for example, that I just really, really wanted to like because everyone else liked it, but I just didn't like it. Um, so I just decluttered it. It's not working for me. Why should I spend my time on something that is just not working? Basically, so I declared that one and I moved on to a new eyeliner. I was just relieved that I didn't have to work on that. So if you hate something that bad in your project pan and you really don't want to use it, but oh, it's in my project pan, I need to use it. No, you don't. You don't have to use that certain product just because it's in a project pen. It's your project pen, it's your rules. If you want to declutter that, declutter that product. You do you, really. My tip number 10 is you do you girl. It's your project. It's your rules. If you want to make a two and a half month long project pen, you do you. If you want to do half makeup, half skincare, you do you. It's your project. It's, it's you that decides what to do with your makeup it, because it's your products. If you want to do clutter your old makeup, like the thing that is going on at the moment in the panning community with the old makeup. If you want to declutter that certain product in that project, you go declutter that product. That was all my tips. This is a sentence I'm always trying to tell myself. Progress is future empty. That eyeliner, I have only used up half of it in that project. In, in the next project, I will use the other half and then it will be an empty. I've gotten progress out of that product and then it will be Future that is four words I stand by um, because not all of my projects are successful. <laughs> I really hope you could use my tips and tricks for something. I know I rambled a lot in this video. I hope it makes sense to you guys. I will leave my tips and keywords down below in the description box so you guys can check it out and write it down for yourself. Or just save this video for another time if you want to hear me ramble again. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like so I know you liked it. If you have other video ideas for me, please let me know down below in the comments. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe down below so you are not going to miss out any videos in the future. Please take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!